I'm sorry, Oscar, you're staying home today. I know. What's up, everybody, and welcome. Pardon the noise, I'm sitting next to the aquarium with all these air conditioners running. Behind me is a 320 Sea Ray. Actually, a brand new one we got as a trade in, but the generator is not running. I've actually never seen one of these boats, so let's check it out together. We've got three 250s on the back, the brand new Mercury's. Jump in here. Oh. It looks like everybody is going to electronic steering. We'll start from the back here. Looks like we got all of our uh, battery switches. We got main breakers here. This is for shore power. Gonna test to make sure you got the right voltage. There's our shore power in. That's nice, they even got a little light in here for you. In the back, of course, we have all of our storage for fenders and all that stuff. Fire extinguisher. This thing has all the sea deck on it, like everything does now. Shower. Our stereo control in the back. Kind of a unique table design. The way you can clear and walk through here and the table's not in your way. I like their stitching. They got some nice uh, nice material and patterns they're using here. I used to never be a huge fan of Sea Ray, but they've stepped their game up and now they're using outboards and they're doing what everybody else is doing, which is good. Looks like we got our walk through here. Everything's all wet. Seven o'clock in the morning here. Full canvas all the way around it. Nice seating up front, speakers. But look at that, it's even got a windlass up front. That's nice. Look at the dash here. They're using Simrads for all their stuff. I like they're using the new style switches that light up. I like these Fusion radios. We use them when we can in the Grady Whites. The Pursuits always use GL Audio, which is probably the best. Fusion is just as good. All your controls here for blowers, engines. Oh, it's even got the joystick. That's nice. It's all digital, not just like everything anymore. I like the top too, it's got a retractable roof here. That's cool. And it even has the shade in the back. You can push the button. Got a fridge in the back, sink. I guess this is a grill. Yep, not even used yet. This boat was a trade-in. I'm sure they got the two-foot-itis and they had to get a bigger one. We don't sell Sea Ray, but I wanted to take a look at this since I'm working on it. Very unique. This is the new style boat everybody seems to be going to, which is like a dual console cabin, does everything kind of boat. Ooh, nice view, I like the windows in here. Added a lot of uh, natural light inside here, it's nice. And a TV, of course your seating. Looks like we got storage down here. Ref another refrigerator, microwave. We got our beds down here. Our seating and beds, whatever you want to call it. We next even got a little TV down here. Of course, we'll have air conditioning. Let's look in the door. Oh, it's got a bowl sink. Now I like the boat. I don't know why, but that's my favorite thing in boats now. Nice, simple setup. All right, oh look, subwoofer. All right, so let's get this hatch open here. So we have a generator that won't run. Ooh, this is nicely set up too. So let's say we got a hot water heater, battery. We got five more batteries over here. These are automated battery switches. Your power steering pumps. There's a holding tank for the bathroom. I like now that everything has outboards. We have all this room down where there used to be inboards. Let's get down here. These are battery chargers. These are probably the best on the market. So here is our Wester Beak. I can see already we got some burn marks here. I pulled these screws out 
wonder what surprise is inside here. Oh, that's a good one. It actually used to be attached right there on our bolt. As you can see, it's not anymore. So it doesn't look like it damaged any of our stator winding wires here. We do got some damage here to our AC wires that go out to the boat. So we'll have to fix those. We'll replace these capacitors. Then we'll see if it runs. So let's get this apart. Let's get these wires off first. Let's pull out our ground stud here. Get that out of the way. Maybe I'll pull it all out at the same time. Melted to it. It's all melted together, look at that. It's been a while since I've seen anything like this. Oh, take a look at that. Cut that wire off, it ain't coming out. It's melted into it. Stator connections. Well, that's a good one. Electricity is evil. Trying to find the shortest path to ground and it found it. All right, the capacitors are out. We have to fix these wires. I'm gonna pull all that out. I got new capacitors for it. The reason for this is probably because of one of those capacitors failing. So let me fix the wiring, we'll put some new caps in it, and we'll see if it runs. All right, we got our new capacitors in, all of our wiring is fixed. Now let's see if it starts and does its job. Well, she started on the first try. Let's make sure she's making power now. All right, so that's a good start. Let's turn some stuff on. Definitely want air conditioning. Well, I'm gonna let this thing run for a while here. We actually gotta go back to the shop and look at another one of these Western Beaks. I think it's a smaller version. So let's go check it out. All right, so this is our next boat. It's a 33 SAV Regal. So I have videos on already. Well, let me get on here. This is the cabin. So I'm actually just throwing in the mix of this one. Somebody already pulled this boat apart and tried to diagnose it. So I'm jumping in here to see if I can figure out what happened. But the generator runs perfectly. You can start stop it from the generator switch itself. But if you look here, so yeah, something happened where if you push this button, it'll start. But you can never turn it off here. You have to open that hatch up and turn it off at the generator. All right, so we have another Westerbeek here. Here's our start stop switch for our panel here, which works fine. So we're gonna stick a hose in here and fire it up and see if if we can get to stop or what it's doing exactly. All right, so let's try to fire it up here first. All right, so that switch works. Let's try it downstairs now. All right, let's turn it on. Let's see what it does. not turning off. My guess is we have something going on with our wiring here. So let me go shut it off down there. All right, these switches are pretty simple usually. Let's take a look and see what kind of wiring we got here. So it looks like already this pink wire 
should be our light wire that lights that switch up and our white wire should be on our stop circuit so it looks like we have power to it like it's supposed to power to your start circuit like it's supposed to but our white wire and our pink wire are backwards let's switch them and see what it does all right we got our wires switched back the way they should be i would think now let's see if it works hit the start button All right, start it up, no problem. Now let's see if it shuts off. All right, good, that was just the wires being crossed. Not a big deal, it happens sometimes. This is actually a weird story because we bought this boat from another dealer just so we could sell it because we didn't have one. So I'm sure it got made ready there, demoed, and nobody ever caught that switch being backwards because it was start and not stop. Not sure what happened, but uh, She's all fixed now, so let me get that panel together. After I get this together, I'm gonna go back out to that Sea Ray, make sure it's still running. It's been out there for about three hours now. Well, that's a good sign, still pumping water. All right, we still got everything loaded up and it's still running. All right, let's open our hatch here and just make sure we got nothing burning inside. All right, everything still looks good here. All right, I'm gonna put the rest of this back together. And it's almost four o'clock now, so I'm gonna call it a day. My next episodes might be a little spotty just because we have a hurricane coming towards us right now or a tropical storm or whatever it might develop into. So it might be on and off. Yesterday was the same way with the storm. During the summer months, it gets to be pretty hectic. I think we have over a hundred days of bad weather a year here where I'm at. Plus in Tampa here, we're in the lightning capital of the country. Bear with me. I'll continue making these as much as I can. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Later. Oh, a 38 Tierra. It's going home today.